From the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 32, I want to jump over there a little bit, verse 5. Then he worked hard repairing all the broken cisterns of the wall and building towers on it. He built another wall outside that one and reinforced the terrains of the city of David. He also made large numbers of weapons and shields. Then he appointed military officers over the people and assembled them before him in the square at the city gate and encouraged them with these words. Be strong! and courageous hallelujah do not be afraid or discouraged my god almighty because of the king of assyria and the vast army with him hmm. for there is a greater power with us than with him oh hallelujah Everybody say that. There's a greater power with us than with him. Hallelujah. With him only the army of flesh. But with us is the Lord God to help us. God Jesus. And to fight our battle. Anybody still here with me? And the people gained confidence from what Ezekiah, the king of Judea, said to them. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. How many of you today believe that this prophet can build your confidence against your attackers? No, I didn't hear over here. I only hear a few people. What do you come here for then if you don't believe in me to build your confidence to do this? You probably need to go somewhere else then. Amen? You see, I, I, I said this, and I'm going to say it again. When Israel asked God for a man or a prophet, and God obliged by answering them, God sticked to his promise and his plan to always have a voice speaking on his behalf to his people in any situation. Amen somebody. God will speak to individuals. Maybe you or me or you know one away. You're praying to him. He will hear you. He will answer you in the spirit. He will communicate. Amen. But when you gather like this in this setting. Huh? You will not hear the voice of God directly speaking in this crowd. You will hear Mark Stewart's voice. Oh, hallelujah. But when I speak, I don't speak of myself. Oh, hallelujah. I speak a word, thus said the Lord. Because I am his representative to the crowd of you that are gathering here today. Do you believe it or not? Somebody praise God. Jehoshaphat, oh hallelujah, Ezekiah and these men who were men of God, the prophets and all, they heard from God as long as they followed God and keep God's laws and decree God spoke to them and they speak to the people. Can I talk to you? Somebody praise God. Ezekiah is one of them who oh, praise God who understood what it meant to follow God to trust God and to know God for himself so he can share God with the people and have the people have confidence in the God of their salvation the God who will deliver them and help them in all their problems somebody praise God Ezekiah therefore could see 
with uh, the eyes of faith. Uh, lift your hand and say, I got to see with the eye of faith. Uh, which means you got to have faith in God. Uh, you got to have confidence in God and nothing happens without faith. Uh, that's why I said, no matter how I give you these things, uh, I might use my kerchief and tell you uh, to buy it and your problem is, uh, if I was giving you free, uh, Lord God, then you would have rushed for it. Uh, but because it comes at a price, uh, your faith drops. Oh, hallelujah. But everything that has faith in it comes at a price. Uh, nothing with faith comes cheap. Uh, uh, because if you don't exercise uh, that God-given faith, uh, then it's not going to work. Uh, somebody praise God. Uh, that's why cheapness is not good. Uh, because you get it free, then you just handle it for free. Uh, but you will believe in it more uh, when you have to pay the price. Uh, that's why we got to believe in Jesus. Because uh, he paid the price with his blood for our lives. It's not for free. It didn't come cheap. He spent his life blood to deliver us. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Uh, the number of his opponent uh, meant nothing to him as long as he uh, was on the Lord's side. The number of your enemies is not important to you as long as you are on God's side. Uh, and as long as God is on your side, uh, fret not thyself. Mm, God, I feel something coming here. Uh, do I have a weakness in here? A lot of times because your enemies are a lot. And because you know they're ganging up against you. And sometimes you realize there's a whole scheme of them coming up against your life. You become afraid. You become troubled and worried. Worse when they start threatening you. What and what they're going to do to you. And now you will not be able to sustain yourself or stand against them. Sometimes your enemy is only doing one thing and that's driving fear inside of you. Ah, and fear is a killer. Fear kills you more than anything else because it makes you fret. It makes you worry. It makes you want to give up and just fall down and die. But the devil is a lie. Hezekiah said we got God on our side. Ah, the enemy Enemies might bearing down upon us. Uh, they might be fighting armies uh, with spear and sword and javelin. Uh, they might have all the weapons uh, and all the manpower they have. Uh, but somebody lift here and say, I don't need manpower. I need God's power. Uh, mm, that key ain't right for me. Uh, somebody praise God. Uh, lift your voice and praise him. Lift your voice and praise God. Uh, Ah, victory ah, is not by might nor by power but it's by the spirit of God because ah, we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers against rulers of darkness spiritual wickedness are you here with me or oh, somebody don't look like you have nobody like that fighting against you but I got some folk who hate my guts uh, and with all the wickedness they're coming with uh, or you got some people coming after you uh, and just because they can't get you they go for your children uh, they go for your family uh, they go for your finances uh, they go for your relationship uh, they go for everything else uh, they say you can't catch quark or you catch him short uh, but lift your hand and say I'm not quark uh, so no weapon formed against me shall uh, do I have a weakness up in here you see some of you have no confidence uh, to fight your battle because you don't know where you stand with God uh, you don't know if God knows you uh, and you yourself pretend like you know God but you really don't know him at all uh, uh, you come for me to help you because some of you don't know God for yourself can I preach this here somebody praise God 
but I love David because David said the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he restoreth my Ah, because David knew who God was to him and who he was to God somebody praise God Ah, you got to have that confidence uh, despite the hell you're going through uh, you got to just lift your hand and say all I'm doing is going through hell I don't plan to stop in hell and hell can't stop me either but if I got to get to heaven I have to go through hell if I'm going to get the car of my dreams it ain't going to come easy woman if you got to get the husband of your dream he ain't going to come easy if you're going to get the job of your dream it ain't going to come easy you can dream it but get ready for your family to disown you and turn their back on you and sell you out because of your dream is there any David is there any Joseph in the house somebody praise God Ah, just because of your dream you think it's going to come easy family going to sell you out strangers going to sell you out uh, folks gonna lie on you uh, uh, people gonna try to imprison you uh, but you just gotta stand on the promise of God uh, uh, that's what Job stand on uh, that's why he declared though God slay me uh, yet will I trust him uh, for I shall come forth uh, as pure I'm talking to somebody over here but you ain't listening to me as pure as gold somebody praise God uh, lift your head and say i know they're coming after me i know some enemies warring against me but i got confident somebody praise god are you on the lord's side you may never face an enemy army but the battle you face every day of your life is there anybody in this room who every day of your life is almost like you're facing a battle is there anybody that work at a place where some folks just don't like you because you come in blessed every morning and you leave blessed every evening. Is there anybody here living among some people who just can't stand you because you hold your head up high and you're not digging in the dirt like an hog? You're holding up your head and flying like an eagle. Come on, let's preach this now like we feel it. Because somebody And the threat they send on you they think you're gonna crumble up and lie down and and fall down and die but the devil is a liar I got somebody with me to share my heavy load I can feel his presence near me every day don't trouble overtake me a long life weary road I got somebody with me Oh, loose me man I feel something bubbling up in me now I say you face problems every day every day you go to work there's some devils who look at you and say what is she doing here how comes you're still coming in they expect you not to come in because they want your position but every day you show up at your desk, show up at your post, and lift your hands. Look at some Jezebel and say, I'm still here. Lord God Almighty, look at some Delilah. Look at some demons who is looking with makeup face. Lift your hands and say, I'm going to smile a while. I'm going to give my face a rest because not only do they come at you by themselves, they set up your next co-worker, they set up your boss, they set up some other folk not to like you. So all of a sudden, it's not one of them laughing, it's ten of them smiling, grinning after you. But lift your hands and said, I will vex now. I'll get angry now. I'll feel my pain now. Because those who laugh last will laugh. Hold your laugh. 
Come on, neighbor. Let your enemy laugh first. You don't laugh first. Let them have a big laugh and think they got you where they want you. Lift your hand and say, I'm going to save my last. Laugh for the best. He who laughs last. Somebody get ready. I'm here to talk to you. There's a big laugh going on next door. Somebody's having a party just because you're going down. But lift your hand and say, I'm coming up. I'm coming back. Don't worry about me. The battle is not over. What not dead? Not does she wear? And the last time I checked, despite the hell I'm going through, my heart is still beating. My mind is still working. My hands still tingling. My belly still functioning. I feel the Holy Ghost. They try everything to get you out. But lift your hands. Say, I'm still here. After all the hell that I've been through, I'm still living by the grace of the living God. And sometimes I wonder what I am going through. And I ask God why. And I say, God, what is this? And God answered through David and say, Yea, though I walk, loose me up in here through the valley of the shadow of death. I will not fear no evil there, for thou art with me. Can I preach this like I feel it? Thy rat and staff, I feel comfort coming there. I was worried there. I was troubled there on every side because a whole horse encamped around me. But then I looked beyond my enemies and I saw another horse of the angelic army with fire in their hands. Then I can lift my hands and declare there are more that are with us than they. Somebody lose the preacher that are against us. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Lift your hand and praise God. So I urge, uh, I heard Ezekiah look at the men and he appoint military officers over the people and he assembled them up in the square lift your hand and say neighbor i'm coming out of hiding i'm going out to the square because i got to declare that the lord is my king you can't declare that under your bed you gotta step out in the square come on somebody just step out step out say i'm stepping out to declare a reinforcement i feel a power coming somebody praise god i feel some power rising step out in your square let your enemies see you say you're not afraid of e you're not afraid of she not the old lady come on somebody stay with me i feel the holy ghost step out in the square and get ready to declare i am not afraid i am not afraid he appoint them and they step out in the square and he encourage them with these words are you ready church of god can i prophesy and talk to somebody the lord told me to tell you on this day the 22nd day of the month of june 2019 do not be discouraged do not be afraid of the terror by dear now your are by night can i preach to somebody the lord told me to tell you loose the marks to what up in here let me get muddied here do not be afraid they come seven way they come at you one way but god said to tell you they're gonna flee seven different directions can i tell somebody here the lord said to tell you yeah the battle is not yours the battle is the lord he said i will fight somebody not lose me yet against them that fight against you somebody get ready for war somebody get ready for war somebody get ready for war 
Lift your hand and say, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for this. I'm not afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged because of the King, Lord Jesus, because of them who arise up against you and against your family. Loose me, let me preach. Who want to seek you? Who want to torment you? Some people want to mad you. Send you a mandible hospital. But the devil is a liar. Can I preach? Mad flow and I see you. You're going to be healed. Loose me, let me preach. You're going to be delivered. Do not be discouraged. Because I want them mature. Who over your yard. Just send back some blue. Just throw back the blood. The blood of Jesus is against them. Come in and loose me here. Because I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody praise God. Fret not thyself. Because of evil doers. Because they soon yeah, be cut down. God said to tell you. Be strong and courageous. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong, be strong in the Lord. Yeah, and in the power. Yeah, of his might uh, arm up yourself uh, get ready for battle but you're not gonna fight blessing i'm gonna run your dog the enemy you see can i preach you like i feel it i'm only talking to 10 people the egyptians you see today you're gonna see them no more tell the perizzites the canaanites the jubicites the Hamalekite. tell them i'm coming I'm coming for war. I'm coming for the battle. I'm coming in to take it by force. I am not afraid. I feel power. Brace out your chest. Walk up in them face and say, I'm ready for this. If you think you're bad, touch a button. Tell your enemy. If they think they're bad, touch a button. The blood of Jesus. No way. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon form against me. I'm living by grace. I'm living by mercy. Me not live by no hands of sorcery. We no double double. We no mix up, mix up. We trust God. And he said upon this rock, I build my church and the gates of hell. Tell some people who are going for you. Say they want to touch you. Touch not the Lord. Loose the preacher, man. Touch not the Lord's anointed. Nor do his prophet. I feel the Holy Ghost. Do not be discouraged. They're coming after you. What he for them? They're well harmed. But they are harmed in their flesh. Somebody praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Ezekiah declared the word. He said to them, do not be afraid or discouraged because of the king of Assyria and the vast army they are coming with. For there is a greater, a greater power. There is a greater. Is there anybody here? Who know the greater power? Lift your hands and declare power. Somebody say power. Power. There's a greater power. Some trust in chariot. Some in horses. Some in Illuminati. Some in lodge. Some in dark room. Some go Simon. Some go drink blood. Some kill white fowl. Some kill pigeon. Somebody loose me, the man. But I trust in the power of almighty god the i am that i am the rock of ages cleared for me let me hide loose me the man can i preach somebody loose the preacher give god the glory lord god almighty amen hezekiah said we have a greater a greater power him flash lightning him roll thunder can i preach him send brimstone him send fire can i preach 
him drowned the Egyptians and Pharaoh can I preach he gave David power to slew Goliath can I preach to somebody here he opened the Red Sea can I preach he kill off every firstborn Egyptians he's the Alpha lose the preacher here he's the Omega he's the beginning and the end he's powerful he's powerful Jesus said I got power I'm gonna give you power 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 somebody said power who opened your belly say God give me power 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 what the goes power Ezekiah said, no worry about the little flesh them where I come. Because we have somebody greater who has power. Now me know why they say me have a man. You know why? Because they realize they me have power. Anytime you have power, anytime God has work with you with power, they say you yeah, walk hobby, but them don't know say God Power. Lose me. Some people get up 12 o'clock, go in a graveyard with pigeon, forget power. Go on with white fall, forget. Beard in a basin, forget. Bundan candle, forget. But me no one that depth. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the. He's the God of power, lightning and thunder. God of fire. God of fire, God of, he's a God of power. Some people must know, you will never go with them go. You will never do what them do. You will never mix up in a what they mix up in a. Because you have power. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my my help cometh from the maker of it and the, he will not might to be moved he that keep it neither slumber nor he's a god of power he's a god of power he's a god of power Ezekiah said, what do not worry about? Be strong. Be encouraged. The one that is fighting our battle is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, first and the last, Yahweh, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, conquering lion from the tribe of the God of Israel. He has power. He has, he has so no weapon, no demon, no devil from hell can touch you. You are overshadowed. You are covered. You are delivered. You. Jehosa. Sorry, uh, Ezekiah said, Hallelujah. With him that is coming after us is only the army of flesh. Oh God Almighty. A flesh them are come with. Huh? You hear what them are coming with in other flesh after you? Bad mind, envy. Grudge, greed, loss. Huh? Lord Jesus. You know, do nobody know more people get up, but they can't take you. They can't stand you. I could have 
You just a cut and go through. Sometimes I have to look upon some people say, Lord, me there enough for me fault. Me me look so good that God bless and I show up on me a warm to you. I just the blessing of God I show up on me. No? You look paraplegic, ma pop down, maga down and look like you're soon dead. and not my fault. When you are woke up, you me a praise God. When you take your money, go back in a base. I can my money, go break through, go put it on the altar. So I must get breakthrough and you get break up. Somebody praise God now, man. Hold on. You are going like say you didn't have no choice when God didn't make you so cute and so nice and so pretty. And it's your fault. I got choice. You can't do nothing about it. People have problem with you. You have shape and them now have none. Have full problem. I know your problem. I God's problem. Tell them go take out it with God. I know for your problem. And them looking after them mirror, they want to cover it up with sheet. And every time you're looking at yours, all you want to do is take selfie. I and not feel fault that the blessing of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow. You're gonna make them worry you and fret you to death. Oh God bless. Lose me. Hello. So yeah, some people look upon you and show you how to take selfie them vex because them can't take none. Because they will bust for them camera. Let me take your picture. No, me not like picture. Me not like. No, me not like take picture. God misses. Some people can't walk on the runway and show you just have got you. A video light does that take you over. You know, if you walk with a friend, uh, somehow no woman can't talk to you. A man a call for you and a call for them, they vex. And are your best friend, you know? But true, all this prayer come for you, we are not come for them, we and dry up with you, you know? How about she, so? Hi. And then they start give your face something, and you start fret and worry about them. And them start tell two lies on you. And start set you up with who you don't have and who you have. Just because they want you get discouraged and pop down so they can walk by you and step up to get the attention where you are getting. You know what I'm preach. <laughs> attention, some people are look. And through them, see you are getting and them now and getting them and try to take you out. If you step in your shoes, but tell some people they can't fit in your shoes. They have a shoe pattern, you have a style. Every day you get up, lift your hand, and rise up with the sun. And no matter where you go through, you just lift your hand and say, For I know that the sun will shine again. Hallelujah. You just hold your head up high and try to smile. If you can, for, for I know that the sun that the sun will smile will shine again. Hallelujah! Don't be discouraged. I know. Well, on when you are playing them the tune there over for your yard. And you make a mistake and go turn down and listen over for them yard all the year. I feel like dying. I feel like crying since you left me and got pull up.
And so a woman realize that you have only come man. And every time them listen, man, I play a tune for you. All they hear the man I play in your ears. Well, she's royal, yeah. So royal, yeah. I want her. Pull up. You didn't call hypocrite. I couldn't be that, man. I couldn't be that. I couldn't be that. You know my theme side of play. And a voice used to say, you look better in the dark. Feel like make trouble today. Somebody praise God. Some people believe you alone. I bless you, bless. You play a good tune and them I play a sick tune. Lord God, and then life can better. God, they walk the nasty up here. And it has swelled them up. Somebody praise God. When them look, Lord Jesus, open them door and they hear pop, pop. Them say, who come at my gate? When them look, they see a big truck drive past for them gate. And park up at your gate. And when them look, I be a quotes and sing a furniture. And them I say, wow, what she do? Lord God, oh, oh me can't get nothing. Get bad mind. I'm going to talk about your work up here, your teeth, and your this. And you do this, and, and that's why you get this, and I get the devil is a liar. Hallelujah! He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Allah. I'll say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my my. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Praise God, no man. Lift your hand and say, I'm me that. I feel the word, yeah. Don't prepare us. A table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup run it over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days somebody praise God praise God he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he maketh me to lie down in green pastures I feel God I feel God I feel God I feel God he maketh me to lie down in green. Feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! Lie down in your pasture. Now look upon them. Make them see you. Lie down. Nam your belly full. Eat your belly full and then lie down in your green pasture. Make the hypocrite then go along. Hungry, I kill them. White squall, I kill them. Sickness, I mad them. But you just lie down. Relax the man in green pasture. Hallelujah! He restored my soul. He lead at me. Tell yourself. Tell yourself. He restored my I feel God. I feel God. He lead at me. Beside. I feel God. Hallelujah. Tell yourself, I will not be discouraged. How me surround me? I will not be afraid because there's a greater power that is with me. 
There's a greater power. All the powers where they are come with. All the powers where they are dig up and come with. Then could I go a sea till then dead. Then could I go a graveyard, go ring up all the dope with them. God, you're not talking to me, somebody. I am not afraid. Because there's a greater power that lies within me. Is God all by himself. Not woman, fret not. Worry yourself. Things are going for you. That's why some people can't take you. Hello. Walk down here, sir. See that any woman you see walk on their head, then lean their head when they might walk with style, they might walk with swag. <laughs> and that's a problem. They walk with style and some people are walk with spoil. <laughs> Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Lift your hand and praise God, woman. Watch your power. Watch your power. Power. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Take it. Take it. Lose yourself. Fire. In the name of Jesus. Power. Go on. Somebody praise God. Somebody say power. Somebody say power. Lift your hand and say, I got power. And I serve a God who is powerful. So tell them, little flesh, we are come after you. Them can't touch you. Them can't hurt you. You're too anointed to be disappointed. You're too blessed to let them stress you. You got power. I'm closing this. Somebody believe God with me. Praise God with me, man. Ezekiah said, Do not be afraid or discouraged because of them. For there is a greater power with us than with them. With them is only harm of flesh. But with us is the Lord our God. Lift your hands and say, The Lord is my God. Lift your hand and say, my hand clean. Be careful how you lift your people not clean. Lift your hand and say, my hands are clean. Me not dabbling and nothing messy. Me can lift up my hand them and say that I have a clean hands. Me never dabbling and nothing. The Lord is my God. Because like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, if God can do it, it cannot be done. Like Daniel, people tell you, come. Come make we carry you out. Come go go find out. You say no worry yourself. Me now go where you are go. Now trouble with you go nowhere. Now go find out nothing. If me want find out, me I go hook me eye and look to heaven and ball at God, holler at Jesus and say Lord God, oh yeah. Jesus, oh. Somebody trouble me, man. Somebody complain to God. Jesus, oh. Somebody trouble me. But the heaven declare the glory of God. Hallelujah. You should have troubled the one. Ezekiah said, we have the Lord who will help us and he will fight our battle. Lift your hand and say, God of Ezekiah, of Isaiah, and Jeremiah, fight my battle. Somebody now pray with me. Lift your hand and say, Plead my cause. Oh God, fight against them that fight against me. Shoot them. Shoot them, Holy Ghost. Bam, bam. Jehoshaphat says, they are coming with their flesh. But we have a greater power that will fight our battle for us. Huh? Huh? 
Hey. When Gideon saw what the enemy was doing to his people, he began to hide some things in the wine press away from the enemy. But God showed up and said, Gideon, why are you hiding? Mighty man of war. Vava. You can't hide from these slew foot good for nothing demons that I don't count. I am going to rise you up in a army to fight them. Huh? I will be with you in this battle. And you can't lose the war. All you need to do first of all for me to prove that you love me Gideon get rid of your father altar and the Asheria pool where your papa set up around the back of the house. Block it down and mash up it. And come make me teach you how for war. Let me tell you something right now. You see, sometimes if you ever follow your generation and what them do, you're not getting a breakthrough. You have to find and know God for yourself and make God talk to you and tell you what to you do yourself. You can't make your mama, your papa, your grandmama, all them people that tell you some things what to do. God, them will do, they will make you do what them do. And if you realize, you know, help them. No God for yourself. I feel the Holy Ghost. Huh? Some tradition. Where you born in a no good for you. The Lord said, Come, I go give you power to fight against your enemy. But you're the first thing you have to do, because this is what has been weakening you. And destroying the strength of your family to stand in this warfare. You have a pool and an altar around us where your father and make sacrifice to Baal. Broke it down. Mash it down and come to me. Make a new altar and put on for me sacrifice. Lord Jesus, he said, Gideon, I want you to make another altar. Pop down your father's altar, mash up and bunny up. Then I want you to build an altar. And I want you to put on the ram for me and sacrifice to me and come. Let me show you how to fight enemy and win battle and take back what them teeth from you. Lord Jesus, I wonder if someone know how to trust God in here. Lord God Almighty, somebody praise the name of Jesus. Lift your hands and say, mash down that altar. So here they are being oppressed by their enemy. But their altar is not unto God. Here you are being oppressed by a whole heap of enemies. But your altar is not unto God. So then how, do you gonna, how are you going to get help? How are you going to win this battle if you have an altar in your house? If you have some Simon things in your yard, in your house, but you still come a fast in a ask for prayer to help you through your battle. How that going to work? You have to go, go back home, go broke down and burn up that and mash up that and repent and then come back yourself and say, man of God, can you pray for me and deliver me? Come on, God, God no work so. If you have Baal halter and Hobia halter and demonic halter run out your yard, you can't come yourself in a breakthrough. You now get none. The blood of Jesus is against you. Broke down that. You were encouraged and you were being forced or invited to go somewhere this week. You have the money, you're making the plan. But something told you after hearing the breakthrough and Mark Stewart that I'm going to go to that man's place first. I'm going to break through today. The person who is supposed to carry you go away don't know you're coming here. But you'll come here today. But you've been invited to go somewhere else. The thing is, between Wednesday, Thursday, something like that, down in the week, I'm calling you now. You're making plans to go somewhere. Go work some goons. Here, Come and take up this money.
you think uh, I'm a play come here where did you plan to go do you know you don't know but you were getting ready to go somewhere for what immediately as you come there I receive a shot in my chest immediately as you stand before me I felt I never felt a bullet before but I felt what feel like something right and the shot right in my chest so I come and feel your chest I wanted to feel if you have bulletproof on. Because if you go where you plan to go, you will not have a chest plate left. My name is Mark Canute Stewart, prophet in Mandeville. And I'm telling you, cancel your appointment or else you're coming back without a chest plate. Mess up and of course, sir. Hallelujah! By fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Lord Jesus which day were you planning Wednesday I will make more of you afraid of me Those who are coming after you, coming in flesh. But you, be confident, be strong, do not be afraid. Because there is a greater power. Young man, look at me. There is a greater power that you need to trust who I trust and that power is almighty God if you trust anybody else or any other power you're going to lose your chest be warned as I pray and cover you don't say nothing tell somebody I'm not coming I'm canceling whatever the cost whatever the sacrifice your life depends on it. Whether you live or die. Whether you suffer. Or you come out alive. Trust God. Because if God can't do it. It cannot be done. Somebody shout hallelujah. Stretch your hand unto him. And say the blood of Jesus. Cover him. Deliver him. Loose him in the name of Jesus. I reverse that curse and I break that spell in Jesus' name. Go. Clap your hands for Jesus. Who else is trying to hide? I knew it was a man. But is there a woman here who is hiding it? Don't want nobody to know it's you. 
we're planning to go. You made the call, the appointment is set and fixed. But you said, I'm coming to break through. I remember I told you the other day, there was a man who was on his way to St. Thomas with a kyle of money, thousands of dollars in his pocket to go see the bomb yard woman who sent for him. Full of money. But the lady that was going with him said, Hold on, I want to hold your son here. He said, Ah, Bobby, he said, Hold on. Mark Stewart now up there, sir, somewhere. Make we go up there. He said, Before we go, sir, let's stop by Mark Stewart. And they derailed the tour and came where I was under the tent at the fasting service. And I looked at him like that, man, said, Come here. I said, Where are you going? I'm going, so I said, where you come from? He said, Westmoreland, Savlamar. Left Westmoreland, Savlamar, reached Arborview, heading to St. Thomas. But Reverend Mark Stewart on the breakthrough tent had a roadblock. I'm going to draw him in for questioning. License and registration, documents and papers. Where y'all go? Search warrant. When we done search him, we take off the ring. Full of guard. Check him, him loaded with cash. We don't take that. We say, why your problem? Why you going, sir? My chest I eat out. My heart I drop out. Can't go back of America. They send and tell me since I have a heart condition so bad, swelling and everything, I cannot come back to work. I must stay. And so I tried to find. I said, Now you have a serious heart condition. Can't go back to Canada go work. And I saw you go. Since you can't go airport, you go straight. And we reverse the order. And I said, Man, Shana, how much would you tell him for put on the altar? I think about three grand. Out of 30 and 60 when I have. Mr. Alright. No, 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 give me all the way. I can't go get so just, just put about three. And we're not craven. We're not thief. And we're not scam. If me tell you, come put it on the altar, you're not happy for your business. Me not run your dung, me not thief you out of your pocket. Your faith must work. Nobody can say me take money out of them pocket. I'm a general and I love money. You can't chat all one want. Me ask and you bring him. Me name force you. The man, when we were done with him, got baptized the same evening. We'd send the ring down the river. Send him back to Westmoreland. By the next week, he was over here in fasting in Mandeville. By the next two weeks, his heart was good. He was gone back to Canada. He was coming back. He bring all Mike for the church when he coming back. Full heal, delivered, set free. How much it cost him? The God we serve is a God of power. He is greater than every other powers. That's why they don't like me because I put stuff out there. I'm locking down their shops. And business. And I'm establishing. They thought I was going to be stopping. But almost in every parish now I have a shop. And I can announce my shop on the radio. And tell everybody where to find my shop. But most of these people that you're going to. You can't tell nobody. You have to secretly go at them shop. If you go to Highgate. You see breakthrough. Prior healing deliverance ministry outlet. We're not hiding because we know the God we serve is greater. And we know anything we give you, there's no hunky panky. It is genuine and real. Take up your water and your oil. Take up your salt. Get ready. Lift your faith. It can move mountains. Hallelujah. Woo. Shout 
Your faith has made you whole. You are ye. Your fountain is no, no more, no more. Or say virtue has left his body. body. No more, no more to cry. I know, I know, no, you're here. Whoa, whoa, you are here. Your fate has made you. You, you are here. Your fountain is no more, no, no more. Virtue, virtue has, has left this body. body. No more time, no more time to, cry. to cry and worry. Pray. Praise the Lord. I know, I, I know, know you you're are. Here. Hallelujah. Come on, stand up with what you got. Remember, please, I keep saying it every time God tells me to tell you. This public prophet cannot do nothing in secret. I'm more popular than Prime Minister Holness. Everywhere I travel in the country, it seems like the only program people watch on TV is the breakthrough on a Sunday morning. On the station, everywhere I travel, people listen to is the breakthrough on Sunday morning. Not to mention Wednesday night. To God be the glory, I don't take no glory. But I can't hide, I can't run, I can't escape this that I'm doing. This is a call of God that I must maintain. People said to me, Reverend Stewart, I'm your friend, I'm in the world, I have a gun, you need one. I said, uh-uh, I have the biggest one bigger than yours. You need protection. You need to have security. I said, no, you don't see my security. I got two, but you just don't see them. And they said, ah, oh, what you're talking about, men of God? Are you dealing in some stuff we don't know about? I said, ah, you just need to come. I'll tell you. You, you can know what I mean. There are preachers and people who said, that man has some other powers greater. There are people who are sleeping in caskets, going to see I'm talking men of in jacket suit trying to figure me out. Say I have a power that they don't have and they want what I have or more. So they're trying to find all kind of source how they can get what I got and they still can't get it. Because there's a greater power that is not man-made but God released. Come, are you ready? Are you ready? Lift up what you have in your hand. Say, I surrender all. Come on, just lift it up and surrender it and say, I surrender all, all to thee, my blessed, blessed Savior. sacrifice and said I surrender it's a healing I surrender surrender I surrender all, oh, 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 all to be father as your people have stretched which they have I stand here humbling myself before your throne. Lord, your people 
have heard my voice and my voice speak that which you enable me to speak. I do not stand on my own, God. Lord Jesus, I stand here humbling myself before you and asking you to send angels to touch everything that your people possess now in their possession. Let it be used now as a weapon of mass destruction to the adversary and the enemy. Lord God Almighty, we pray that you will deliver them from the curses and the stress and the pain and the sorrow. Bring healing to their bodies that, oh God, they don't need a doctor. Bring deliverance to their mind, to their life and their family by using the natural things in their hand. Lord, we know you can do it. And we know you're going to do it. There's angels now being released to somebody's breakthrough and somebody's deliverance. Lift your hand and say, I receive it now. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, go ahead and use that water now. That oil, the salt. Amen. Praise God. There's so many things I'm doing. The Chinese hate me because they're not selling enough bleaching cream because of me. People are now using salt and olive oil to catch their color. The Chinese hate me because not many people are tattooing and ringing up and chaining up anymore because I preach escape hell. So people are wising up. So they're not making no money on them stuff. The Obia men, they hate me because they were charging you 60, 70, 120, and 200,000. And with $100, a pack of salt and a 250 oil and a hundred dollar water do more than what you spend so much at the hobby man doing they don't like me i'm too cheap i'm not competitive and when you're in jamaica and you're cheaper than the chinese and the hobby man you stand to make more business <laughs> well what is it all about it is all about that which is real and that which is true. Drink and anoint yourself and get ready in this building. Because your deliverance is coming if you believe. Today. Cheaper than anything else you have gotten in the past. Cheaper than your medication. Cheaper than your pharmaceuticals. Cheaper than your doctor bill. Huh? Salt, water, oil. Cheap. Why would God give a prophet something cheaper than everybody else? Sometimes when, when you tell people the price, they say, ah, so cheap. You know why? So that everybody can have access to it. So that everybody can afford it. To use it and get what they ought to get from it. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. So use what you got and anoint yourself and believe God. Then you put down your bag on your seat or on the floor or somewhere there and get ready to lift your hands and get ready to jump up and shout in this building because there's something I'm about, about to say to you today. In this battle, that you're fighting. Hallelujah. Victory shall be yours. You didn't hear what I'm saying. With God's anointing on you and the supernatural power of God that is around you, that is fighting for you, by tomorrow, this time, victory shall be yours. Only somebody over there receive it. Get ready. Live your faith. Hallelujah. And we're going to pray section by section. And then we close like we did last week.
take all the drink you can take as much as you can take right now and lift your faith and believe God somebody operation is about to be cancelled hallelujah your spinal cord and the spinal pain between your neck and your back is about to be healed there's a deliverance coming at you coming with a breakthrough oh I, I, I. Jesus <laughs>